guys, it's uh, Dark Architect 18 back here with another YouTube video, and we're going to be doing the HMS Lion impressions today. So we're going to be doing the commander, the mods, the stats, and the gameplay. Uh, just wanted to let you know I, I do review videos, dev strike videos, update videos, and much, much more. So before I start, make sure to like the video um, if you enjoyed it so far, and subscribe to the channel if you want to learn more and to stay tuned for uh, any other types of videos. My content. So next thing we're gonna be doing is commander. So the commander we got uh, Azrael Nelson up on the screen. So we got uh, no fly zone. We got big seven. We got marksmanship, and we got uh, master mechanic and running with scissors. So we got Azrael Charnorth as an inspiration and Megatron as an inspiration. So we got a dispersion and range build. So keep that in mind. It's very important. Uh, Mods, we got aiming systems mod one, we got steering gears mod two, we got targeting acquisition mod one, and then we got main battery mod three and the fourth slot. Now we're going to break down the stats of the actual ship. So we got a survivability 82 rating, we got 67,900 HP, 19 to 381 millimeters of armor, 25% torpedo damage reduction. Then we have a artillery of 89 rating with the 3x3, 406 millimeters, 16 inch gun equivalent, 18.3 uh, kilometer firing range, 26.4 second uh, reload time, 40.2 uh, second 180 degree turn time, 8004 max HU shell damage, 46% fire setting chance. 14,616 max AP show damage, and then uh, secondaries 8 by 234 millimeter, 5.2 kilometer firing range, 6.7 second reload time. And uh, for the AA defense, we got an 88 rating, uh, 4 by 1, 40 millimeter, 40 millimeter, 38 average damage per second, 3.7 kilometer firing range, 6 by 240 millimeter, 150 average damage per second, 3.7 kilometer firing range. 10.6, 40 millimeter, 321 average damage per second, 3.7 kilometer firing range, 8 by 234 millimeter, 71 average damage per second, and uh, 4.7 kilometer firing range for the AA. And then maneuverability, you got a 47 rating, uh, 30.4 knot max speed, uh, 830 meter turning circle radius, and uh, like 12 second, 12.7 second, uh, 180. Uh, for the concealment, uh, we got 14.6 second detectability by C, 18.3 kilometers detectability after firing a main gun, 16.6 .6 kilometers detectability when a ship is on fire, 12.2 kilometers detectability in the air, um, 2 kilometers guaranteed detectability range, and a 14.7 kilometer detectability while firing smoke. So keep in mind those are important numbers, and uh, we'll be getting into the gameplay relatively shortly. Okay, so we got a battle on two of the desert. Um, I am in the HMS Lion. Uh, we're going to show essentially what the uh, the uses of the ship are and what I think of it so far. I'm going to do a review video on it at some point. Um, I want to get a better video, but this is essentially the best I can come up with after playing it for like 15, 20 battles at least. Uh, Pretty solid ship overall. I love that you have the defensive A8 um, consumable. You have really solid uh, heals. They're almost they're essentially zombie heals in a sense. Um, maybe not as large as Nelson. Maybe larger. I don't know. But uh, they are very, very good. And the HP per tier, uh, 67,900, is upper 10%, I would say, more or less. Um... So it, it is really up there with everything. It's got 300, uh, what is it, Three, no, 406 millimeter. I was thinking Monarch for a second. This is Lion, so it's got 16 inch, so 406 millimeter. So they, they do a lot, um, and they are, the ship's really fun. Um, I, I switch consistently between HE and AP, as per how it is, so like this Ochikawa, he's coming out, so I'm going to stick with AP here because he's going broadside. So he is going to not have much of a fortunate time against my buddies over on the left side of me and uh, 
um, what I'm going to be doing to this Ochakov next. So uh, we hit him uh, towards the superstructure. We get about 6k damage, approximately, maybe 5,500. So not bad. Um, this game isn't going to be a lot of medals or ribbons or anything, but uh, it's going to show you basically what the capabilities of Lion is in the right hands. So that revolves around the commander build. That revolves around the um, yourself in terms of the experience of what you have in terms of the battleship. Are you a good battleship commander and or captain, basically? And can you basically do whatever you need to? So we got first blood medal um, and a citadel, fifteen thousand three hundred thirty-three damage per uh, just damage so far. Um, Bismarck's right there. I think that was Modern Hippies right there. He is pushing up in the Brandenburg, and he's going to try to take this uh, Bismarck out. He basically does. I'm going to shoot. And this is going to be a little bit pointless, but he gets him. Or no, that wasn't Modern. That was City Max. Excuse me. Uh, I think Modern was right there. Yeah, Modern just died as the cruiser. Um, as the Edinburgh. Edinburgh. Yeah, the Edinburgh. So he was in that ship. Uh, Yamato's pushing up, and then we get a line over there. So, uh, he, or Mogami, excuse me. <laughs> um, so Yamato's going to push up. I'm going to wait until he goes broadside. I'm keeping AP loaded so that I can smack through the side of him. Uh, City Max doesn't fare well right there with the Yamato and the Mogami, so... It's unfortunate for them, but I'm going to push up a little bit more, try to get this Yamato, basically, and try to take him out as best as I can. So Yamato's pushing up right now, and we got a uh, flat broadside. Uh, AP is very solid on this ship. You'll see uh, many times. I just did 22k to a Yamato broadside. Uh, and that was... You know, that's almost a given. Like, this, this ship does really well with 16-inch guns, whether it's AP or HE. Um, I think fire chance is 46%, so it's pretty sizable for sure. Uh, I don't, I think that's comparable to the Nelson. It might be a little bit higher, a little bit lower. So it's around there. I know it's like mid-40s or something for the Nelson, I think. I could be wrong, but that, that's what I think it is off the top of my head. So, uh, have that. Uh, we got the uh, Yamato kind of spinning, and then we got this uh, other teammate pushing the Mogami. So, we got the Minotaur firing long range uh, behind this uh, island way over there. I'm going to look at the Mogami for a second. Uh, he's still being preoccupied on that. Um, he is taken out by the Yamato on our team. So I, f I see a Minotaur. I'm going to go for him. Um, that dispersion is very good. Uh, dispersion overall with this build is very solid. He just got two Citadels on the Minotaur. He was literally broadside behind a decent sized, I guess, like island or like nook. Um, not Nook, but Island. That's probably a better word. Anyways, uh, so we got the Lion right here. I'm going to try to slow down a little bit. Um, the Minotaur smokes up on the other side over there. Excuse me. Um, I'm going to back up, but uh, you're going to see here that I kind of uh, make a kind of weird kind of judgment here. Um in the sense where I'm starting to back up, that's going to kind of be a little bit of my downfall as I back up. But uh, you're going to see in a second uh, how that's going to play out. Um, so, Lion overall, uh, it's a very good ship for it is. Um, if anyone has it um, that's currently watching, um, you know it's a great ship. And if you don't, you're going to realize it more based on this video. It's potential and what you can do with it essentially and how it plays so it's very critical to understand that so the thing is with the ship you gotta you gotta build it for its accuracy and build it for its uh, AA if you can but 
A is like not the only and end all solution to everything, but um, anyways, I got Yamato right here. I totally did not see him coming, so I was like, oh snap! I gotta I gotta book it because he looks like he's reloading, which he is, and he's got his eye on me and shot out shot out at me, and that was like at least. 10 to 15k off me, so it wasn't that bad, because look at my heels, they're just ginormous, they're just glorious, so um, I can take the hits, but uh, this Minotaur is bullying me, I'm like, bro, get get out from the island, I'm like, just thinking, like, dude, like, just come out, like, you don't need to sit behind a island just to be good in a Minotaur, you can kite, you can do other things, do not let an island or some piece of the map just limit you in terms of your play. Don't let it limit you. You gotta you gotta be the one taking charge and um, basically saying, what can I do? Can I do something different from what I'm typically doing? Yes. And that's not by just, you, you can't just sit behind an island the whole game and expect to just effectively do everything. You're going to get one, if you're sitting behind an island the whole game, you're going to literally be torped by a destroyer if they come around and spot you, or you're going to get focus fired by battleships, or you're just going to get like focus fired and citadeled by cruisers. So it really isn't very beneficial to just do that. We got a triple fire on them, pretty awesome right there. Uh, we got an incapacitation, we up to 120,000 damage. We are, what is it like? Nine, eight and a half minutes in? Yeah, eight and a half minutes in. Under almost 30,000 damage. Pretty awesome game, I must say. Um, so we got the uh, Yamato, I think. And then, uh, then now we're going to try to spin it towards this Minotaur and try to take him out. So really, it just shows like between the Lion and the Monarch and the Vanguard, they are all solid ships. Monarch does awesome at its tier. Lion does awesome at its tier. They're all the same tier, but like Vanguard plays more or less like like a Bismarck, but obviously not the secondaries. But I'm saying the orientation of the guns. You got two guns in the front, uh, so it's. Two doubles, so two by two is four. Four guns and four guns uh, for the va Vanguard, and they're only 15 inch, but they still do quite quite good. Um, not bad. They have a little bit less penetration, but uh, still nonetheless. I don't think it has short fuse AP, but anyways, Monarch and Lion, they just thrive at what they do. They Monarch has almost smallest HP per tier. Per this tier, a tier seven, and it just it has those super heroes, and it just doesn't even you know it doesn't show anything against that. It's not even bothered by that. It can take on HE meta. It can take on critical damage, like a lot of critical damage being done to its ship. It can do a lot of things. Same thing with Lion. It you see this whole game. I'm still like nearly three quarters health almost maybe a little bit less or slightly a little bit more than half health but it's still considerable these heals i still had three heals and two um i think one damage uh defensive or not damage defensive defensive aa uh consumable excuse me um that i have so it's really just it just shows that this ship is strong. It's not OP by any means. It's it's strong, but it's uh, it it's fun to play. Um, if you got the ship, it's it's it's. If you're in agreement with anything I'm saying, it, and you know the potential of the ship, you're probably on the same page with me in terms of the agreement. This ship is pretty fun to play. It's it can knock around other ships if it needs to be, but it's not overpowered. You know, a ship's really not really overpowered. It might be power crap, but, uh, like, that's better than being overpowered, to be honest. So, uh, we're going to be taking a torp from this gearing because I took that turn a little too wide. 
We used the damage con, so we're up to 133,000 damage. Three citadels, two, two, two kills, uh, a couple secondary hits, five fires, a couple of incapacitations, um, 33 regular hits, and we got a first blood. So not a crazy game, but like really it just shows what I'm saying over and over is that this strip knows it, it can do stuff. It, it's not scared. Like I'm this is risky play what I'm doing right here, rushing and destroyer, but like literally he's the last one. I got HE loaded and I'm ready to turn if I need to. You know, if you're a smart battleship player, you can you can figure it out. Um, it doesn't take a lot to do that. So um, I missed him right there. Anyways, uh, so keep that in mind. Um, pretty awesome game overall. It's not a bad one. Um, I, I couldn't really find anything else that was really like amazing that I've done with this ship yet. But uh, I'm planning on doing a review with this ship and comparing it more so with maybe Monarch or with Vanguard um, just to kind of show more of the differences and what its potentials are um, when comparing it to like Monarch or Vanguard, Vanguard to Lion and all that kind of stuff. That's what I really like to do is to break things down and give you as much information as I can. And uh, anyone that wants to use the information can run with it and um, kind of learn what to do um, with it and can really just play better. Is the goal is for you to play better than me, if not better, and all that. So uh, we're going to take this uh, gearing out. Um, definitely appreciate everyone's time. Thanks for tuning into the video. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. It definitely helps me a lot. Um, ended up 150,000 damage. We have up with uh, 548,000 silver. So solid earning. So awesome. Okay, so um, really appreciate everyone's time. Uh, just make sure to uh, promote the channel if you can. Um, tell your friends about it and definitely be greatly appreciated uh, if you could do that. Um, and we got more YouTube videos coming all the time, so make sure to stay tuned and hit that notification button and the subscribe button in the channel. It uh, definitely helps me a lot. Thanks, everyone. And we'll see you next time. Peace.